It's like it's like a Nike logo symbol for like lazy people. Man, Just the, nap it. Maybe the guy who did uh, Napster went on to do a more napping for fitness. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the guy who made Napster. I wonder what he went on to do. Hopefully he got his money and got out. I mean, yeah, he's making a bunch of money. Yeah, but he didn't He didn't sell when I think the time was right because then the government really came down on him. Yeah, I think he... Yeah. What happened to MySpace, Tom? Well, he probably made his fucking money and left. Didn't AOL buy that? AOL did buy that. AOL bought that for... Five hundred million dollars? Oh, that was going in, you dicks! No, that wasn't. <laughs> um, they bought it for five hundred million dollars, and um, and then I think like five years later they sold it for like twelve. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Probably still, I probably still have my 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 MySpace page. I don't think they delete it, do they? I don't think they do. It's probably still on there. Then, God, I wonder what that's like. Oh shit! That means my band page is still on there. Sweet. <laughs> that means your band page is still on there. <laughs> no one ever needs to hear that. Well, I liked No Party System. <laughs> yeah, I, I sort of had to. I did a lot of gigs with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the ball back. Well, the defense. If I didn't like you, opening for you all those times would have been really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I also remember MySpace being sort of a scummy dating app, too. Boom! <laughs> I like Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> then who's your favorite horror movie villain? Well, no wonder he's such a popular player. His skill is great, but it's That's a tough one, too. Wonderful, rarely. Oh, man. Oh, it has to be horror fans. Can't be sci fi. Yeah, it has to be horror. I mean, sci-fi horror all count. I was gonna say so, like the ship from Event Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the um, the guy in Blade Runner. The oh, um, what the fuck was that actor's name? Yeah, the guy's on like every point. Wow, what a shitty shot that was. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Well, do you like the director's cut or the original version? Well, basically, what I'm asking is, with or without voiceover narration. Well, I like the director's cut. Pass the ball! Um, that's the one without voiceover. Yeah, I think so. I think, though, the, the first version of Blade Runner I saw had the voiceover on it, so that's sort of what I think about, you know? You see, the first one I saw was a director's cut. That might, that might be the thing, because... Oh, that was the final cut. <sighs> I forgot what we were talking about. Well, I like Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been a fan of It. And it will be Death Row. Pennywise? Yeah. From, from It, yeah. Yeah. Now I mean, a lot of that's to do with Tim Curry's great performance, but that always terrified me when I was a kid. <laughs> and he takes the shot. I'll take the uh, corner. I'm lucky, I'm lucky. With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. I mean, granted, I was eight. I probably shouldn't have seen it as an eight-year-old since it's about a clown who murders children. <laughs> but <laughs> what a header! What a header! That's fight year. <laughs> who was that? Toodle, toodle, yeah! yeah. What's Jim Caviezel done since then? I don't know. Oh no, he was in the TV show Person of Interest. Here's Grant. I know that because it showed up on Netflix. Like, you might like Person of Interest. And I was like, it's got Jim Caviezel. And I was like, nah, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thanks for trying Netflix, but nah, I'm good. Good defensive play here. I was hitting cross for you. <laughs> Man, we're getting fucking, we're getting aggressive now, aren't we? Grant's taking shots. I'm trying to remember, what was Mel Gibson's last good movie? So far. Yeah, they've, they've seen Field more, of Dreams. Mel Gibson wasn't in. Well. Oh, that was Kevin Costner. That was Kevin Costner. That's another question we can ask. <laughs> Is it Field of Dreams? Is that Kevin Costner's last good movie? I think so. When did that come out? 
1996. I think I was still living in Ireland when that came out because I remember it was released, but no one knew what baseball was because it was Ireland. So it was like, like four people saw it. <laughs> I remember my mom talking about it. What was it about? I was like, oh, I, people were like, oh, I don't know what the sport is, so it didn't really resonate with me. <laughs> It's like cricket. It's, it's better than cricket. It's not like Irish people are particularly fond of cricket either. That's true. Jesus, did you see that guy? Well, he had the postman or something, right? Postman. That wasn't good, though. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, fucking Sean loves that movie, though. He was telling me about it years ago. He loves the postman. Well, it's like an interesting... Maybe he just loves his postman. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sean likes the idea of like a post-apocalyptic world and someone, you know, trying to bring some kind of normal build it yeah it's just still a terrible movie though isn't it yeah <laughs> i liked Waterworld, but i saw that movie when i was like eight <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing Waterworld isn't terrible it's not great it's not terrible but it costs like a billion dollars <laughs> Apparently on Waterworld, the, the the very one of the very first uses of digital editing of non-digital scenes was used because they had um, Kevin Costner's character have those gills on his neck because he was like a superhuman or something. Yeah. And then when it was on film and they finished it, it turned out they looked like vaginas and the sensors wouldn't let it go through. That's so, so funny. So some they hired a company to digitally edit every time you see his gills. They that's all digitally edited, and that was like 1998. That's crazy. So it ended up costing like a shit ton more because they had to digitally edit the vaginas off his neck. That's so weird. Yeah, it is weird. Postman came out after Waterworld though, didn't it? Yeah. I think it was his I think it was the last movie Kevin Costner did was that. But I don't I don't know. Now here is a chance for them. Here's the <laughs> <laughs> What kind of shot was that? There was no pressure. He must have done No, he did a movie. I know he's done a movie at least since 2010. I only know it because it had um very fairly. It had Eric Foreman in it. Oh. Yeah. Alien. I like the alien as a bad guy in a horror movie. The xenomorph? Yeah. Uh, assumably from the first Alien movie, yeah. since that was an actual horror movie. And, uh, yeah, good fight. save, Garrett. And it, I mean, I, I honestly, I like Aliens better, though. I like, I like AVP. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude, remember when we went and saw that? Did we? Yeah. When did we see that? When it came out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were like the only people in that theater. Oof, now I'm we gotta really... give you. Now we have to give you the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Whenever I think of AVP, I think of AVP two, which is a better film. Oh no, that's the like they're in the like the Aztec ruins in South America, <laughs> in South and and in, in Antarctica. Are they in Antarctica? Yeah, they're in Antarctica. Well, yeah, the the Aztec, the Aztec Mayan Babylonian fucking whatever it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember being pretty pissed. It was a PG thirteen movie. <laughs> There's no, there's no way either an alien or a predator movie should be PG-13. <laughs> Neither of them should be PG-13. Combined, it has to be like a super R or something. <laughs> we saw... Did you see Predators? Yeah. With them... Um, Eric a Foreman. Yeah, with Eric <laughs> Foreman! Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, that was Eric Foreman in that. I was going to say Adrian He was Brody. a good bad guy. He was! <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of you! <clears throat> I'm one of you! Did you see, did you see AVP 2 then? Um, no. Well, that, was ah. that was a good. That was a great chip. That was perfectly placed. Yeah. I think AVP two was a much better film than AVP was. It was like there's like murder of children, and it's like it's actually like a competent predator instead of those three fuckwits they had in the first like <laughs> who just died all the time. Yeah. It was like a veteran predator, and he kills like fifty aliens on his own. Wait a minute, AVP ended with just her alone in the Antarctic, didn't it? The Predator defeats the alien queen and then dies, and then the Predators come and pick him up. That's why they say he's a great goalkeeper. And they just leave her there. <laughs> they just leave her in the Antarctic, alone. Does that mean, that means she died? <laughs> that means she died. She just died. She has to, yeah. Wow, that's a more somber end to that movie. Oh, what a head. Nice. Yeah, that was a good win. I'd like to think we're the farthest flung crew fans, but 
There's probably some dude in China who's like super into crew. Yeah, probably. He probably makes their merchandise or something. <laughs> and we gotta sim some matches or else this is gonna take forever. Everyone has a cooler symbol than crew. I like the crew symbol. It's like a weird monkey line. I wanna worship that thing. Oh my god! Hat trick. <laughs> Oh, Bristol's in first place. <laughs> <laughs> into the goal, 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 into the goal. Ah, oh. fuck you, game. It's weird to think Michael Clark Duncan is dead, isn't it? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, he was always like... I mean, Terry Crews is fine. You know, I like him just fine, but he's no Michael Clark Duncan. Uh, too bad no one was there. <laughs> it would have been... All passes would be great passes if someone were on the other end of them. I mean, that's true, right? <laughs> wow, he didn't call that either. I like, I like this ref. Yeah, what a lenient ref we have. The goalkeeping career is so fucking boring. Yeah. It's the most boring play mode. I know there's people who do it who love it, though. But they're wrong. We've got Pinhead. We've got Pennyworth. Pennywise. Pennywise. We've got the Xenomorph. Oh, come on. I should have had that. Oh. <laughs> His most recent role was the dad from Incredibles. Which, hands down, best Fantastic Four movie ever made, obviously. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> They're never going to make a Fantastic Four movie as good as The Incredibles was. Oh, they're making an Incredibles 2, finally. Oh, cool. And the Cars 3, so no one cares. But Incredibles 2. And the goalkeeper coming so if you ever want to explain and Randian exceptionalism to a kid, I think you just show them The Incredibles. Because isn't that, like, the best... Here's Davis. The best version of any Anne Randian philosophy you've ever seen? Yeah, it's they're they're weird. literally superhumans who are literally being held back by the common man. They're better than us, and we're and we're demanding that they be less. You know. Yeah. And even Syndrome is like, oh, when everyone's special, no one will be special. You know. It's the best Anne Randian book movie I've ever seen. <laughs> it's way better than that Athlet Shrugged movie that came out a few years ago. That was fucking terrible. Do you remember when oh, um, Obama released out uh, that that White House website? You know, if you if you get enough signatures, they'll answer a question. Yeah, the, the We the People website, Voice of the People website. One of the very first things to get enough signatures was a demand that Barack Obama reenact the Frozone "Where's My Super Suit" scene from Incredibles, <laughs> and they had to they had to answer, and they were like, "We just didn't, we just don't have enough time." As, as <laughs> fun as, as fun as that would be. <laughs> By the way, when when that it used to, it used to be five thousand signatures, and when that got five thousand signatures, they bumped up to twenty five thousand. <laughs> They really underestimated the power of the internet, didn't they? Yeah, they really did. Oh yeah, 5,000 signatures. That'll just be for real legitimate questions that people have. Well, he has a go. <laughs> and uh, the Death Star got, um, demands to build a Death Star. One got 25,000 signatures, so the White House had to answer that. And it was, they were like, well, you know, according to our economists, it would take, it would take $40 trillion to build a functioning Death Star. And in this time of economic recession, we don't think that's a good use of public funds. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're saying that you'd all rather be unemployed with no school as long as we have a Death Star? Someone's got to build it. Someone's got... What planets would you blow up? All of them. <laughs> all of them. Yeah. Why? Fuck it, Just we have a Death see Star. If you could. Just see if you could. I'm not going to spend my entire life and my children's lives building a Death Star. Without using it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's one of those things when you have nuclear missiles, you just want to try and use them. Yeah. See what it's like, you know? They're going to score here, aren't they? Yeah. This is already fucking score. Oh, I'm injured. Oh, look at that. He's we'll clear it. Here's the chance. Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Garrett didn't even move. Fucking knew it. Every time they get a corner in any death minute, they're always going to score. May as well just give up at that point. And what about...